Hey, what's up guys? Figured I'd show you guys around Norway. We're gonna check out the Viking Ship Museum. Cool map here. It shows kind of the voyages of a lot of the Vikings. I mean, look at how extensive their travels were. So we're gonna check out a, an actual Viking ship in this museum and see what's going on. I'm kind of intrigued by these Viking ships just because, um, I don't know, I feel a, a rather kinship with the people that travel a lot. So let's go check it out. Wow, there it is, right as you walk in the door. That is really cool looking. Okay, close up of this thing. Beautiful. Got woodwork. That is just gorgeous. I'd like to travel the ocean in one of these. Those, those holes must have been for oars. See if I can find some information on it. God, yeah. A lot bigger than I thought it would be. Let's try to get an elevated view of it. Over here looks like a steering mechanism. Wow. Really impressive. Kind of want to see what these, this inset kind of, what exactly those are. Kind of might be a dragon, I don't know. Here's a really good photo of the ship when it was, um, I guess, as it was being restored and collected in the ground. Man. Wow, check out this view. So just reading that the boat had a crew of about 30 men. They estimate that from the oar holes along the sides of the ship. And it was found uh, in a burial mound, so the ship was used to bury a woman. She was found in the aft part of the deck up there. Uh, the, they estimate that the ship was built around 820 AD. And, and it is just one beautiful sight. You can see a mast for a sail. And um, just, just imagine sailing across the seas with 30 guys in this boat. There's a better view of the, the rudder simple mechanism. I really wonder if that was really how the rudder was attached to the boat because oh my god it doesn't look like it would really move much. And that's their main steering mechanism right there. And here's just a view from the other side. What I notice is not much room for sleeping on this boat. Oh, geez. These guys are uh, hardcore huh? Um, the choice of materials for a boat such as this, sturdy oak. The oak tree allowed the Vikings to travel across the seas. All right, so here's the other one around the corner. Being told that this one was the boat that was more for traveling around the seas. They just tell that by the larger keel. A lot of the oar holes could be covered up with flaps keep the seawater out and the other vessel was more of a pleasure vehicle um, so this is might be one that was a little bit more robust for traveling all the way to Iceland and this was also this one was also used as a burial mound they also say this one was built a little bit later 890 AD and it could have 32 shipmen compared to the other one which only could um, have 30. So they actually have the bones of this man who was buried with his ship. Uh, they theorize that he was probably a chieftain of some sort, a big bone man. I don't see why they need to keep his bones for scientific study. But that's a picture of the burial mound right there. One of the last things I'll show you guys is this beautiful sled. So who doesn't need a sled for the afterlife? Now the woodwork on these pieces of sled is just phenomenal. 
and we're looking at pieces of wood that was, were carved over 1100 years ago and um, just the detail is beautiful for works of this age I think it's a piece of the sled all right well that was cool not every day you get to see an 1100 year old Viking ship makes you wonder what the next a thousand years will bring just come so far. So the inlays on the keel of the ship, they were, uh, they look like snakes to me. I never really found a good description in the museum of what they were. Uh, I also would like to add, it did appear in some of the descriptions that the, the ship uh, had tents over it. So that's probably where the sailors slept a lot. And um, other than that, yeah, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video, comment on it, I really appreciate it, and uh, stay tuned for some more Norwegian adventures.